Because I'm sure that was the, oh, in my opinion, I felt that was the most interesting thing about this song. Oh, yeah. Like what made this song unique was that it's a mixture of, of what, four songs, five? Well, actually, almost four, five, five songs, actually. Four, five. Yeah, it's a combination of four different songs um, and your task to produce the whole of it. At first, like I, like I said in the beginning, I didn't understand what he, when he was telling me it wasn't making sense in my head. Like, five, four, like, <laughs> I almost told him Makamba. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Mark Knight. Um, I also go by the name DJ Mark Knight or Mark Knight Beats. Uh, I'm a producer from Lusaka, Zambia, and I recently produced the Danger Zone reunion song by Maki 2. So I'm gonna show you today and how I did it. All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, how the song started, uh, I just remember one evening, I was on my phone, and then, uh, oh, just to see a reply to my WhatsApp status from Makitu. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, this is Makitu. <laughs> and then he sent me a link of the old song. So now, I knew the old songs, but I didn't know the songs were so much attached to people I didn't know that like people have got a connection to these songs like eh. <laughs> I just listened to it and then asked myself um, how if I was to make the same song or if I was there at that particular time how would I want it to sound and that's how I made it the way it sounds now the first thing I, I started with was just a simple keyboard which is this one I wanted to make it a bit soulful, so that's one thing I started with. Just simple keyboard, simple as everything. The second sound was some plaques, some synth, just some really sweet sounds, which is one of my other signature sounds that I usually use, actually. So they're moving like this. I also added the uh, there's the, a the, the sound I call the nimba sound. This sound feels like as if you're in the clouds and you're floating. So it gives you that rumble feeling in the stomach. So I was like, yeah, something that makes you feel like you're flying in the air. Yeah. So this is one of them added. If you notice one of the songs, we are almost in the same chords. Almost like all of them. So it was also part of the strategy. And the ones that were different chords, I had to switch up everything. That's when you hear the beat switch. <laughs> the tempo was the same for all the songs, except for one. The second switch, the tempo was different by only two. So. So this is the bass. That's a simple log drum in a 40DX D plugin. Yeah. The instructions I, I got from Act 2 were just plain actually. Don't lose the feet. That was it. <laughs> that was it. So I wanted to just sit up a little bit. So seeing the video, seeing a Mark 2 video with my production on it was very, <laughs> was very, very Amazing, yeah. I won't lie. I, I had I was I was really I can't even explain it. <laughs> but no, but just humbled, you know, that somebody would literally take your work and you know be confident enough and say this is what I want and it's just okay the way it is. No changing. We do not change any everything I added in this song was exactly as I put it. <laughs> I didn't change anything and you know, that means a lot when it comes to a producer because mostly you always get instructions to move that snare, move that what, move that keyboard. But it was just like that, you know, and I was really humbled, honestly. Like, that was like, yeah, it was really a humbling experience.
Just must come just like that, or just cousin like that. And another set of drums, which is now like the main sound, is this one. This one was much punchier and much heavier, and it was playing on all of them like that. And then the final. I don't know if you heard that, but I'm sure you heard it in the song. Just a simple one. I know I used even stock plankers to find this one, but it had all the soul that I needed for the song, so I slapped it in as well. Honestly, I didn't expect the experience that I had doing this Mac 2 because apparently it's one of the most simplest people. People may think like it's hard, it's tough, it's rude, it's whatever, but hey, it's one of the most kindest people I know. <laughs> and among the, even just among the artists, actually, like he respects people. I, I was even shocked at the amount of res the respect that he gave me, man. I was like, simple me, but the way he respects me, I was like, hey. <laughs> I never thought <laughs> like an artist like that would, you know, treasure you that much and treat me like the way he did. And I, I didn't, I felt so, <laughs> it's like as if we were just one, you know, it's like we understood each other and there's nothing like, no, me, I'm more bigger than you or what, there was nothing like that. It's just like that synergy just, we just <laughs> connect. DJ McKnight on this one. Yoka Vin Changes on forever <laughs> 